Welcome back guys to another PvP build for Lost Depth DLC. I'm on my stamp sock this time with a similar build like previous patch with double bow. But instead of Savage Werewolf, I'm using Way of Fire. Deals good amount of damage, it's only 2 seconds cooldown. The proc deals around 1.7 to 2k in PvP. Savage Werewolf got nerfed by the way. It only deals damage every 2 seconds. And you need to light attack in melee range, so you can't use it for range setups anymore. Combined still on the back bar with Running Cry, still the strongest back bar set in this game. And Markun, a smithic, with one trainee for XHP. And instead of Magma Incarnate, I'm using Barlog for more penetration and weapon spell damage. Why not Magma Incarnate anymore? It's simple. Magma Incarnate gives minor resolve right and minor courage thanks to the new vigor we gain now 20 seconds minor resolve if we activate vigor it's the same resistance buff uh, which magma incarnate gives so in my opinion not worth it anymore only for minor courage that's why i just use balog for extra damage i'm on one light one medium and five heavy pieces with six well fitted and one sturdy with Rallying Cry we have more than enough impen. we don't need to read uh, crit resistance full prismatic glyphs like always full infused on the jury with two weapon damage glyphs and one prismatic region glyph front by a sharpened bow with the flame damage enchant and back bar a Rallying Cry bow in defending with the berserker glyph alternative you can go with the escape is poisons here Skills, front bar still the same, with bound armaments and Chris weapon. Even after the nerf, Chris weapon in my opinion is still worth to use. Bound armaments, I think they nerfed it by around 11% each hit, and they even remorphed the light attack bonus. But we still have the 8% max stamina just slotted, and a ton of damage. Hunting curse, still the same, like previous patch. Chris weapon. I think they nerfed it by around 40%. It's more similar to uh, other range spammables, but it's still, like I said, worth to use. I just use it now not as semi spammable, just as a classic spammable. Alternative, I've tested something else like focused aim for minor breach. Deeds a little bit more damage, but the cast time is kind of annoying. You're more vulnerable if you have a cast ability on your bar especially a spammable. Instead of bound armaments, I've also tested the knockback, magnum shot, also works, but I had better results with bound armaments and Chris weapon on my bar. Still streak for mobility and the stun, camouflage hunter for major savagery, minor berserk and slayer, another 3% extra weapon damage are slotted. Still the greater storm Artonarch on the front bar as ultimate. I've tested some things with the ballista, overload, but to be honest, for one VX, the Storm Artonite is super powerful. Back bar Venom Arrow. We need this more for the Major Brutality buff. Then Race Against Time still. A Snap Removable for Major Expedition and Minor Force. They also increase the duration here, by the way. 20 seconds now. Vega Selfie. Hurricane as Resistance buff. Also increase the damage of, I think, the last hits or something. Dark Deal. They decrease the duration from. 20 to 10 seconds, so you gain stamina faster back. And still the Werewolf Berserker ult just for the 15% extra stamina region. Alternative go with Temporal Guard to Psychic Ultimate. As Ray still Orc for the weapon spell damage, increased movement speed when you sprint and reduce the cost of sprint, really nice. With HP and stamina, alternative go with Imperial for more cost reduction. Dunmore works also fine, or even Khajiit for more crit damage. As Mundus the Warrior, Smoke Beer Hunch, as Buff Food for the extra Magicka region, 20 points in health and the rest in Stamina. Potions, the normal Tricep Potions. CPs, Daily Aim, Mastered Arms, Iron Cat and Lewis Rebuff, Sustained by Suffering, Pain's Refuge, Celebrity and Slippery. The rotation is the same like in the previous patch. I just use Chris Weapon now as a classic spammable instead of semi spammable. So player dots like Venomous, Error, 
and hunting curse. Use bound armaments for four stacks and spam Chris weapon in between. That's basically it. Place your Artonarch if it's up and keep spamming Chris weapon in combination with your dots. Try to time hunting curse with bound armaments and Chris weapon. So after you applied hunting curse, wait around two and a half seconds to use bound armaments into Chris weapon into streak. So it's like a three uh, four hit combo. Let me demonstrate it again. Fast pace, curse, Chris weapon, bound armaments, streak. Here we go again with some gameplay footage. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Peace.
Hey, <laughs> hey, 